Good morning guys and welcome to King's Dominion. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day here, so let's get it started. Well then guys, I'm now going to get myself some lunch. And as you know, food and drink is usually quite expensive at theme parks. But, I've saved myself some money because I've ordered myself one of these. Which is an unlimited refill all day and it was only $12. So not bad at all. And I've ordered, uh, bought myself a uh, food wristband, which gives me access to 12 different restaurants here in the theme park. Unlimited food all day. And it only costs $30. So considering food is normally $15 a piece, I definitely think it's gonna save me some money. So I'll uh, tally up at the end of the day how much money I spent on food and tell you guys how much I saved. So yeah. I'll see you after I've eaten lunch. I was sitting there selling turnips on a flatbed truck, crunching on a pork rind when she pulled up. She had to be thinking this is where rednecks come from. Jen Hollywood written on a last song. I was uh, actually mistaken when I was talking about the food ban. You actually have access to 18 restaurants, you know, so yeah, it's actually really good value for money. I'm, uh, I've just added up what I've just eaten from Panda Express and trust me, I think I'm definitely going to save some money. The main reason I came to this park, which was uh, for Twisted Timbers, the brand new RMC they opened in March and as you know, if you've watched my other vlogs, then you know that I have two RMCs as my top two coasters so far. So, looks like I could be adding this one to my list. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'm gonna go on it and I'll let you guys know after how it was. Uh, been a couple hours now since I spoke to you last, guys. And basically my stuff's been in the locker because there are three rides here that you're not allowed to take loose bags and stuff onto. That is Twisted Timbers, uh, Intimidator 305, and Flight of Fear. Now, all three of them were amazing rides. Obviously, Twisted Timbers, your uh, RMC coaster, and it's, it was a smooth ride. It's a short ride, but it's smooth and it's very nice. Next one was Intimidator 305. 305 foot drop, 91 mile an hour. That is quick and wow, the view from the top is amazing. And then I went on Flight of Fear, which is an in the dark launch coaster. And wow, it launches you straight into an inversion. It's crazy. I'm now gonna go on the Backlot Stunt Coaster. It's sort of a mini launch coaster, like a junior coaster. It looks quite fun, so I'll uh, see you in a bit. Yeah, that was a fun little ride. Didn't realize it dropped into pitch black, which surprised me. But yeah, good ride. I can't believe for a Sunday how quiet the park is. All the rides so far have been walk-on. It's, it's amazing. The only ride I've actually lined up for is Flight of Fear, and that was only 15 minutes. So yeah, I'm hoping the rest of the day is as quiet as this. I'm now gonna go on Anaconda, and it looks like a really good ride, so I'll uh, update you after. So guys, note to self, don't go on a roller coaster just after you've eaten. I feel a little bit sick, it's my own fault really. But yeah, I'm now gonna walk towards the top end of the park and explore up there. Unfortunately, the only coaster I'm not gonna be able to go on to is the one directly behind me, it's called Volcano. And apparently it's been down now for a couple months, they're waiting on parts. 
So yeah, I'm just have to come back to King's Dominion to ride that one. So yeah, hopefully I'll come back and do that at some point. Now I'm gonna move on to the Avalanche, which is a bobsled coaster. Yeah, that was a fun little ride. But to be honest with you, if you've done one bobsled coaster, you've kind of done all bobsled coasters. <laughs> they're all pretty much the same, but they're always fun, so I don't mind them. I'm about to ride Dominator and it looks insane. I'll let you know how it is after. Due to a storm that's just rolled in, Dominator along with the other big coasters have all been closed down temporarily. I've decided while the rides are down to do a pay extra attraction called Dinosaurs Alive. So yeah, let's go find some dinosaurs. Ooh. Looks like we found our first lot of dinosaurs here. We have the Deinonychus and the Tenontosaurus. Yeah, I probably butchered those names horribly. Interesting fact, did you know that raptors back in the age of the dinosaurs didn't look like this? They were actually only the size of a small bird and they had feathers. So the raptors that you guys see these days in movies don't actually look like that. So yeah, little known fact for you there. Let's move on and find some more dinosaurs. Here we are, going across this sturdy looking bridge. And oh my God, what is that? That is a scary looking dino right there. Pererasaurus. Probably not how you pronounce it, but there you go. Uh, wow. This is quite a very, this is quite a nice display of dinos actually. Another one through the bush here. Oh, there we go. This one is the famous Carnotaurus. The guy you would not want to cross in a dark alley for sure. Right then, let's move on and find some more dinos. Here we have the Spinosaurus. I think this guy was in Jurassic Park. I'm not too sure. Wow, listen to the roars in the jungle of these monsters. As we continue on our journey, we have the Amargosaurus, a strange looking dinosaur. Monoclonius. I would not want to tangle with this bad boy. Woo! Wow, look at it move. Sounds like a cat. Interesting. And here we have some dinosaurs, quite literally stuck in the mud. So yeah, apparently they found 44 different type of dinosaur in one location. Turns out they got stuck in an ancient watering hole and couldn't get up. The more they actually moved, the quicker they sank. So yeah, quick sand, no joke. As we continue our adventure through the prehistoric age, we come across one of my favorite dinosaurs. I know it is a long neck, but it's actually called a Mammonchosaurus. I'm apologizing for these dinosaur names because I am butchering them horribly. Look at the size of this thing, and you can't even see its tail. It's crazy. I didn't actually realize how big this dinosaur display was. It's really big, like, it goes on for absolutely ages. I think I'm about halfway through it and it's currently raining here makes me think of home actually because you know england it rains a lot but yeah this is actually pretty cool yeah something cool i wanted to show you is i don't know if you can see but on the floor in the engraved in the pavement are different footprints of dinosaurs going all the way around this. and that's a nice little detail I didn't have to do, but it just adds the entire effect, so yeah. Nice display. We come across the baddest dinos on the block. We have the Triceratops and of course the Ty Tyrannosaurus Rex. Incredible beasts. Glad they're not around these days or else we would be lunch. That brings me to the end of my dino adventure here at King's Dominion. Now I'm gonna go back up into the park and see if I can catch a show because it is 
very, very wet out here. It was absolutely amazing. Cirque Origins. Imagine Cirque Soleil, just a little bit smaller. That was well worth the entrance price alone. What a show. I definitely recommend you guys seeing it if you ever come to King's Dominion. Do it, you will not be disappointed. Oh my God, guys, the storm has passed and everything is reopened. I'm now heading down to the Dominator to finally do that one. I cannot wait. Also, lots of people left the park. So it was already empty. Now it's completely dead. And there is hardly anybody here. This can be awesome. See you in a bit. Wow, Dominator, what a ride guys, that was fun. And I think it was made even better because there's nobody here in the park. If you guys could see how empty the car park is, you'd understand how empty it is. Decided that for the last two hours of the park, I'm gonna get myself a locker again. It's only a dollar an hour, so it's not too bad. It just means I can ride the uh, Intimidator 305 Flight of Fear and Twisted Timbers again because obviously I need a locker because you can't take bags or articles on those rides. So that means I'm gonna sign off. Oh, and by the way, that $30 wristband I bought saved me over $50 in food. So if you ever come to King's Dominion, I highly recommend splurge a little bit to save yourself a lot of money. So yeah, see you later.